Today we're exploring a list of the top 12 deliberately vulnerable websites for learning hacking. There are fun, game-oriented platforms here with both web and mobile applications, and more so you can find the one to suit your skills. Disclaimer, this video solely focuses on teaching ethical hackers and security professionals about the best websites for learning professional hacking and does not provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to hack. Black hat hacking is highly discouraged and can result in serious legal consequences. Let's get started on the list. Hack the Box. Hack the Box has taken the community by storm. It counts more than 500,000 new hackers, students, security professionals, and gamers from all over the world. An online pen testing platform, Hack the Box allows you to test your cybersecurity and hacking skills, as well as exchange ideas and experiences with this amazing community. Hack the Box contains vulnerable machines that you are invited to hack. It even goes so far as to require you to hack your way to the invitation code that allows you to begin practicing on it. Several of its challenges are constantly being updated, with some that simulate real-world scenarios and some that lean more towards CTFs. HTB also organizes CTFs on their platform that are very popular throughout the hacker community, as are the dedicated labs available to rent for your college or business. Over 1,000 organizations are already using this feature. While HTB is only a few years old, its multitude of options and huge community establish its standing as a go-to for both new and experienced hackers. Next up is CTF Learn. CTF Learn is another highly popular ethical hacking platform. Offered as the most beginner-friendly way to get into hacking, CTF Learn boasts a worldwide following of over 70,000 individuals who are there to learn, practice, and compete. The platform's name derives from Capture the Flag, CTF, which is popular in the hacking community for its contents and reputation as a favorite cybersecurity challenge for beginners as well as professional hackers. CTF Learn also features challenges and competitions that give the users the ability to act as both attacker and and Defender. Different labs involve numerous cybersecurity topics that users can create themselves. Challenges are grouped into categories and organized by level of difficulty. These include web, reverse engineering, forensics, programming, and more. Next up are have BWAP. Short for Buggy Web Application is a free and open source application that is just as the name implies, deliberately vulnerable. It's one of the best, if not the best, buggy websites available for practicing and sharpening your hacking skills. Whether you're a security enthusiast, hobbyist, student, developer, or even a professional merely looking to have some fun, this website will help you conduct ethical hacking and pen testing in a legal environment. What makes BWAP unique is that it offers more than 100 web application vulnerabilities and bugs derived from OWASP's top 10 project. Some of the vulnerabilities are cross-site scripting, XSS, cross-site tracing, XST, and cross-site request forgery, CSRF. It also covers man-in-the-middle attacks, server-side request forgery, SSRF, SDoS attacks, and more. BWAP is built on PHP and uses a MySQL database. It can be hosted on both Windows and Linux OS. On Windows, you can host it on XAMPP and WAMP server, on Linux, Apache, and it's also great to use on Kali Linux. Then we have Hack This Site. One of my favorites, Hack This Site, or H. HTS is a great hacking website that was founded by Jeremy Hammond but has been maintained by the community. It offers numerous different challenges that contain beginner as well as advanced hacking skills. The challenges are fun and engaging, with real-life scenarios and different characters. Each challenge has a thread on a forum where you can discuss it with other members of the community and offer resources to solve the puzzle more quickly. You even get a chance to hack a voting system. Some other challenges on Hack This Site are realistic missions, application missions, phone freaking missions, forensic missions, programming missions, and don't forget their CTFs. They also encourage people to exploit this site literally and reward those who disclose them by adding them to their Hall of Fame. HTS is an enjoyable place with a vibrant community, and no matter your skill level, you'll find a mission that will both challenge and entertain you. At number 5, we have Google Gruyere. It's not often we see the pairing of cheese and hacking, but this website is a lot like good cheese, full of holes. It also uses cheesy code, and the entire design is cheese-based. Gruyere is a great option for beginners who want to dive into finding and exploiting vulnerabilities, but also learn how to play on the other side and defend against exploits. Gruyere is written in Python, with bugs that aren't specific to Python, and offers a substantial number of security vulnerabilities chosen to suit beginners. Some of the vulnerabilities are remote code execution and cross-site scripting. Gruyere Code Lab has divided vulnerabilities into different sections, and in each section, you will have a task to find that vulnerability. Using both black and white box hacking, you'll need to find and exploit bugs. Some previous knowledge is necessary, but we think this is the best choice for beginners. At number 6, we have Damn Vulnerable iOS App, DVIA. DVIA is an iOS mobile application meant to help mobile security hobbyists, professionals, and mobile developers practice penetration testing. It was recently re-released and is available for free on GitHub. DVA contains common iOS app vulnerabilities following the OWASP Top 10 Mobile Risks. 
It's written in Swift, with all vulnerabilities tested up to iOS 11. And you do need to have Xcode installed. The best way to install it is by using Cydia Impactor. Some of the vulnerabilities you can play with are phishing, jailbreak detection, debugging, touch face ID bypass, side channel data leakage, broken cryptography, network layer security, and application patching. Although DVIA is open source, if you're unable to solve a challenge, you can buy the solutions and donate to support the DVIA project, allowing you to contribute to the open source community. It's a great place for beginners as well as anyone else who wants to practice hacking mobile apps. In that sense, it's fairly unique. Then we have Hellbound Hackers. Hellbound Hackers is an all around computer security platform as it not only offers hands-on challenges, articles, forums, and a wide array of hacking tutorials, but also has one of the biggest hacking communities around with over 100,000 registered members. On Hellbound Hackers, you'll have the chance to participate in time challenges requiring you to find a vulnerability and a way to patch it. Learning how malicious actors break into systems will also teach you how to defend against them. It's great for beginners as it offers some simpler challenges, but it can also be enjoyed by professionals. Note, before diving into Hellbound Hackers, you should be familiar with HTML, JS, and PHP. The many different challenges in Hellbound Hackers include application hacking, basic web hacking, and JavaScript hacking. At number 8, we have OWASP Mutilidae 2. Another OWASP project to consider here is the OWASP Mutilidae 2, better known simply as Mutility. Written in PHP, this is an open-source, vulnerable web application that can be used on Linux and Windows using LAMP, WAMP, and ZAMPP servers. It also comes pre-installed on Rapid7 Metasploitable 2, Samurai WTF, and OWASP BWA. For easier installation, they offer tutorials for each step. It features over 40 vulnerabilities and contains a large number of the OWASP top 10 vulnerabilities. Mutiliday is a safe and legal environment where security enthusiasts, professionals, students, and CTFs can practice web hacking. Another cool website is Defend the Web. Defend the Web, originally known as Hack This, is an interactive cybersecurity platform designed to offer challenges for all skill levels. It features over 60 hacking levels and articles that cover all areas of security, including those specifically contained on the level. There are different categories categories, such as some featuring fictional, real-world scenarios that have you working as a security professional who's challenged to secure the website against hackers. It even holds CTF competitions from time to time and engages a lively community of over 600,000 members, where you can exchange knowledge and discuss security news and articles. At the lower 10, we have WebGoat, yet another OWASP entry on this list and one of the more beloved. WebGoat is a highly insecure app that provides a learning environment for common server-side application flaws. It's designed to help people learn about application security and practice pen testing skills. Each lesson gives you a chance to learn about a certain security issue and exploit it in the app. WebGoat is available for Windows, OS X Tiger and Linux, and downloads for J2EE and .NET environments. Some of the vulnerabilities and attacks explored in WebGoat are cache poisoning, SQL injection, and Trojan horse attacks. Next up we have RootMe, a multi-language security training platform. RootMe is a great place for testing and advancing your hacking skills. It features over 300 challenges which are updated regularly and more than 50 virtual environments, all to provide a realistic environment. RootMe also has a passionate community of over 200,000 members, all of whom are encouraged to participate in the development of the project and earn recognitions. Different subjects covered on RootMe include digital investigation, breaking encryption, cracking, and network challenges. It's a solid platform and a great way to practice your hacking skills, although it's not as beginner-friendly as some of the other entries on this list. I have mentioned this one before, Over the Wire, another terrific place for fun and learning. Over the Wire offers war games and war zones for different skill levels, although it does lean toward more advanced hacking concepts. Each level features specific scenarios. You start as a bandit and work your way up to the more complex exploits. First, you'll be challenged by wargamies that cover basic concepts and skills, then continue to different scenarios and more involved stories. Over the Wire also has a competitive side, the Warzone, an isolated network simulating the IPv4 internet. All connected devices are targets to be hacked, placing you in competition with other hackers.